In Rewind at the Wilson Center, a panel of experts joins James Zogby for a national conversation on his latest poll of views on Iran from Arab and Muslim nations. I think that the, the conventional wisdom was several years ago, and the polling bore it out, that Arab leaders didn't like Iran, but Arab public opinion did. The policy of the government for the last 33 years was that we don't care about the governments in the Arab world, we care about the Arab street. Iran was never popular in the Arab world as a model since 1979. With the exception of the Shia community, particularly in Lebanon, Iran was never seen as a model to be emulated. What is true today is that public opinion is now changed and Arab leaders are now playing to a home base that is very comfortable with their fury in some instances and worry in other instances about Iranian behavior. But I was actually quite struck by something else which everybody who follows the region closely is quite familiar with which is that uh, much of what we're seeing here is rooted in the, uh, the spread and entrenchment of a really quite frightening sectarianism around the region which is extraordinarily divisive um, and extremely hard to ratchet back once it's begun. But I think these numbers will have a sobering effect on the Iranian government. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it will be picked up and written at least in the reformist press. And so I see this as, as, as much as a cautionary tale about the future of the Middle East as I do a feel-good story about how Iran is losing influence. To watch the entire program, you can go to wilsoncenter.org or download the Wilson Center app for your mobile device. And join the conversation on the Wilson Center's Facebook page. That's facebook.com Woodrow Wilson Center.